Hello everyone, this is Infinita School, and I am going to be presenting you some very lovely StarCraft 2. Uh, let's hit all of the right hotkeys like a boss, and now let us introduce these lovely players. Up in the top left, we have Cool Tech, our Red Zerg, sitting here who is actually in drones behind Roldane, uh, down here in the bottom right, our Blue Zerg. Uh, we see both, both groups going up to 10 drones before Overlord. Building Overlords, not building spawning pools. Okay. I don't know, is that... I think... I don't think that's common 10 pools. Uh, he is doing drone extractor trick, as is he. Okay. Well, this all makes sense now. Um. No, uh, neither of these people are going for any cheesy builds. Nothing like that so far. Um, both of these guys are, I think, masters. High, high masters. Uh, I think Cool Tech here is actually fourth in his Masters League. I could be wrong. And, uh, Roldane here is fifth in his Masters League. I don't think they're in the same. I didn't check, personally. It did not seem relevant. Uh, Cool Tech going for a 15 pool. Roldane going for a 15 hatchery, which, uh, if I'm correct in the current metagame, counters a 15 pool. Actually, he went for a 16 hatchery, I think. Yeah, he went for a... Nope, nope, 15 hatchery. Anyway. Um, that directly counters a uh, 15 pool, because the point of a 15 pool is to hold off aggression from, say, a 10 pool. 15 pool beats 10 pool, uh, but 15 pool is too late to put on enough aggression to shut down this base, because by the time that, you know, you get out your, uh, your links, your opponent has finished his spawning pool and is working on his links as well. Whereas with 10 pool, you can put on a lot of early aggression, you can take out this base, and you you can do a lot of damage in the early game. So currently, I think I'm just going to give it to Roldane so far, the advantage to Roldane. Although this drone is doing a lot of damage to this hatchery, which is not something that normally you would say. But uh, I've, I've learned personally that if you put workers on a building, or put workers on a... Uh, Command center, hatchery, nexus, you know, whatever. Uh, and there's a spine crawler. And Roldane appears to not care. Either he doesn't care or he's not looking. We have two links coming up from Roldane, and he is determined to put on a lot of stuff. We got links coming out, taking on the, uh, or taking on the spine crawler. Um, Spinecrawler gets cancelled, drone gets killed, one ling escapes, and I'm still having to give the uh, the advantage to Roldane here. Not a lot of mining time was lost because he didn't pull any drones. If anything, all it did was force out six lings, but even then his opponent lost his opponent lost 25 minerals from the cancelling of the spine crawler, as well as another 25 from losing one of the lings. Whereas uh, Roldane here, he made he made a few more lings. Uh, but he's still more saturated than his opponent, so that doesn't really matter all that much. And, uh, he only lost one ling, so in total, I would say I'm still giving the advantage here all day. Cool Tech should not have gone for that. I mean, he should have. It was a good idea. It, it just, it didn't work out. Which is kind of sad. I would have loved to have seen, uh, 10, or 15 full beat 15 hatch for once as far as strength and openers, but if anything, Cool Tech only hurt himself more than helped. Um, Roaches. Early Roaches coming out from Roldane. I guess, yeah, usually early. Doesn't have uh, Banelings Nest yet. So he's just skipping Banelings, going straight for uh, Zergling Speed and Roaches, and Cool Tech can't deal with this. He's building three spine crawlers because he knows that he cannot deal with these roaches. And lame. He uh 
he has just now taken his gas. He's he just now took double gases. He should have taken those at the natural expansion though. It it makes it a lot more difficult for your opponent to figure out how much gases you've actually taken. You can take both at the natural because it could mean that you didn't take any up here. But if you do take these up here and then you start producing roaches, you still don't have any at the natural, then your opponent knows, hey, we took that same thing. Just for future reference. Um, Roldane going for a macro hatch a bit early if you ask me. Usually you want to get a macro hatch after you get your third base. And, uh, no third base coming from either of these players, so... I don't know how appropriate that is. Cool tech, um, staying true to his name, is getting some of the higher up and more cooler and cooler tech of the Zerg army. While also uh, getting a lot, getting more upgrades than his opponent, I don't think he even has a spawning pool. Yeah, Roldane doesn't have a spawning pool, or not spawning pool, evolution chamber. Roldane has two evolution chambers, but he's not producing anything out of them. And he really needs to, yeah, there he goes. But there will be a decent sized timing where, you know, uh, 30, almost 30 seconds, where, well, Quiltech will have an upgrade advantage on Roldane and he'll just be able to steamroll him. Because that, uh, the upgrades, upgrades matter a lot. Although, honestly, I think he should have gone for the uh, armor upgrade, because those affect links and roaches. So unless he produces only roaches from now on, I feel like the armor upgrade would have been better. Uh, cool tech, still down in supply. Doesn't have his rocks down. Um, although that can be considered a blessing or a curse. But he does have a third base. Not spotted by Roldane yet. And Roldane is just now getting his third. And moving all of his units behind his... Main. Mineral. Okay. Um, he is working on Roach Speed, as well as Cool Tech working on Roach Speed. Even got it faster than him. Um, I think, no, no, uh, Roldane got his Ground Carapace six seconds. Started his Ground Carapace six seconds before Cool Tech. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. Although, if Cool Tech wants to get the advantage, he's got to attack him. He's got to get, he's got to wait for third missile attacks or not. He's got to uh, try and deny that third. I don't think he's going to do it though. But uh, he does have his own third off. He is mining from it, so he does have the advantage right now. I don't know if it's through the entire game, but economically he is in the lead. Oh, but he did that he's doing nothing. He moved all of the units into that little pocket right there, but that, honestly, that might have lost him this engagement. Well, he's got And he's also got well, the behind the spine. Yeah, he's got, um, I don't know how well this is going to work out for Roldan, although he's making his way up into the main, and this is not the Google Tech launch. He really wants to clear these guys out before this gets close. Because it's already getting pretty bad. He's not even he's starting to attack him with them spawning for the first time. Cool tech not having a micro here. Well, Dane doing an excellent job at micro. And uh, Well, Dane now has the upgrade advantage. And it's even. Um, cool tech starting on his next upgrades. And Roll Dane's getting out of there with his roaches. Uh, yeah, nothing will be made of those last three roaches. They'll just kind of hang around, be used for later. He did make a few swells, so I guess they they do matter a lot. Although he, once again, is ever so slightly, ever so slightly behind on upgrades. Although he really needs to start his ground carapace level 2, even if he is getting hydras, because his opponent's getting neural parasite, which can only mean one thing, that he misclicked and accidentally picked a neural parasite, because I don't know of a single person who gets that before pathogen glands. That's just not something that happens. Um, it does appear as though it will be Roach Hydra versus Roach Infester. What is Cooltech doing? Why is he 